Hi, everybody. I'm Steven Siegel, the senior editor at Legacy.com. And I'm here today to talk about one piece of the coronavirus epidemic. How do we handle funerals during the coronavirus epidemic if we're not supposed to gather in groups? Here are five suggestions from funeral professionals right now for having meaningful funerals at a time when it's really important for families and communities to support each other without transmitting COVID-19. The big shift we're seeing now is that lots of funeral homes are helping families share the funeral services online, either live or immediately afterwards. That way, only the very closest immediate family members have to attend in person. Extended family and friends can watch, listen, and even participate from their own homes using their phone or their computer. Lots of funeral homes are already set up to do funeral live streaming in real time. But if your funeral director is not yet providing that service, you can take the do-it-yourself approach. You can use a laptop or even clip your phone to a tripod and broadcast the funeral through a video conference app like Zoom or even Facebook Live. Or if live streaming is too much pressure, it's not the only way to share a funeral with everyone online. You can record the funeral and then right afterwards, your funeral director can upload that video recording. Once the funeral video is uploaded, your funeral director can add it to the online obituary page on legacy.com. That way, anyone who couldn't be there in person can watch it, share it, and send their sympathies. Or in a pinch, you could upload it yourself to YouTube. Just make sure you let friends and family know which app or website you'll be posting the funeral on. And if you're streaming live, what time you'll be doing it so they can tune in. Here's another trend we're seeing. With only the closest family members able to attend a burial or cremation, many families are deciding simply to postpone the full funeral service. They're saving the larger public memorial for later at a date to be determined when it's safer to gather in person. Right now, scientists say it's still too early to know whether the spread of coronavirus will subside like flu in the warmer months of the year. So it's okay to remain flexible about when to schedule a future service based on how the coronavirus situation plays out in the months ahead. Hopefully, most of us know by now that the public health rule during this virus is, if you go out from your home, stay at least six feet apart from others to avoid people's coughs and sneezes. This is easier to do in larger outdoor spaces. So if you're planning a burial, consider skipping the indoor visitation and just holding the service graveside. If anyone is present at burial or cremation who isn't part of the same immediate family, you can help reduce the spread of the virus if you remind everyone to express their love and sympathy without any physical touching. If you must attend a funeral in person, be aware that you may be asked to pay your respects quickly and then disperse. No one wants to be disrespectful of your grief, but funeral homes have an obligation to observe public health safety guidelines. No matter how you do it, experts on grief and mourning say that it's important for the surviving loved ones to hold some sort of grieving ritual because it's harder to begin healing after a death if you don't come together to acknowledge the huge thing that happened. That's still true, even if it means coming together online or on your phone. Families need to feel supported. Crying, laughing, and sharing stories together helps us process the profound loss when a loved one dies. It's okay to do that over a remote connection if you have to. Any good funeral director will help you figure out how to facilitate the most meaningful memorial possible under difficult circumstances. Whatever you decide is the best option for your loved one's funeral, you'll want to make sure that anyone who needs that information can find it. The obituary is typically the official source of funeral details. It's also the written tribute to your loved one's unique life story. Publishing an obituary means anyone can link to it from any social media and can find it again later. Traditionally, families have made sure their hometown communities see the obituary by publishing it online permanently through their local newspaper, or in some cases, 
they publish it temporarily at the Funeral Home website. If you're planning on offering remote access to the funeral, use the obituary to tell family and friends how to join in from wherever they are. Or, if you're postponing services until sometime in the future, you can say that in the obituary too. Legacy.com is the largest source of obituaries and funeral service information online. And right now, there's nothing we want more than to help make sure families and communities everywhere are still able to honor and pay tribute to their loved ones when the time comes. So from me and from all of us at Legacy, be well and be safe. <laughs>